And we are back with BRX Pro Tips, Lee Cantor, Stone, Peyton. Lee, uh, we are recording some of these pro tips after doing quite a bit of virtual work. I can't wait to get back in the studio on a more regular basis. And one of the things that we began to get some real benefit out of, and I was really enjoying when we moved to our new studio recently, is we kind of we upped our game a little bit when it came to environment and signage. Uh, let's talk about some, a tip or two around signage for your studio. Yeah, this is kind of interesting for me to see how this evolved over the years. When I first started the business, I had a little digital frame that I had that when I, w- I would put the pictures of all the different guests that we've had and everybody liked to see the other guests. And there's a lot of social proof that comes from seeing a peer or somebody that you know or um, are, you know, are fond of uh, appearing in that little digital frame. And then over the years now with the pricing of uh, televisions going so low, it's now where we have flat screen TVs almost in every studio. And on those screens now we're spending a lot of time uh, having that social proof and having the photos from the studio. That's super important and you can't have too many of those on there. But and now we've kind of evolved to make sure that we have sponsor logos on there, that we have the businesses of the sponsor, not just their show name, but just their business there too to promote their business. And we have that with some of the power partners. We have messaging, uh, letting people know some of the different services that we do, like um, radio in your booth, uh, you know, mentioning trade shows at your next trade show, invite us, you know letting them know about the conference work we do, letting them see that in action. So there's a lot of promotional opportunities there, uh, as well as connecting with us on the different social media um, channels that we use. So there's a lot of ways to use the signage um, and make sure that uh, it, you're leveraging it because it's, it's an asset as part of kind of your studio. So I would recommend really being creative and putting messaging that let people know the mission let people know of all the services you offer. Make sure you promote the heck out of your sponsors, whether it's their uh, day job business, whether it's their show, where to listen to their show. All that stuff is great because they love to see that when they come in with guests. Well, it's great when they come in with guests. That's a fantastic um, opportunity or, or benefit from that. But also all of the digital material that that we pump out there the 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 pictures the photographs when it carries all that branding i mean they eat that up as well they should so it's very it's powerful it's not very expensive i don't know that it's expensive but even cost anything hardly other than a little bit of time to do it digitally but back to an earlier tip that i'm sure we've covered at some point if you're charging the appropriate amount you have the margin even to create some physical signage as well so uh, that's it's a no brainer that I really hadn't put much thought into before, but now I'm seeing the benefits of it, and I can't recommend it highly enough. And I'm sure people uh, that are smarter than us when it comes to selling all kinds of stuff, they might cho- charge somebody <laughs> yeah. to just have their presence in the sign, and maybe not if they can't afford a show, maybe charge a, uh, a smaller amount just to have presence in the studio. That's right. Great idea. <laughs> 